the thing with eating disorders it makes it different from other addictions like you know the addictive mind thing whether you're like addicted to watching tv for 24 hours a day and not stopping or you're an alcoholic or you binge eat or starve yourself any sort of eating disorder is that you can just turn off the tv forever and you could just stop drinking and like you can still survive um but that's more complicated but you can do it the thing with food is that you have to still use it in your daily life you can't just stop eating food you have to figure out how to manage it responsibly and you can't ever you can't ever really be without it and take time to think about how it's affecting you i don't know if i'd say that it's the food that causes the guilt it's like my actions to eat a lot of food i feel guilty for like feeling so like over full <laughs> and like that makes me feel like selfish I guess just something that's been like instilled in me whether it's through like catholic school parables or like whatnot um is the idea that like you should never like overindulge so I just feel I guess like selfish like over indulging when I'm thinking about food most of my thoughts go back to you know, body image and like the disordered eating and stuff. And that was all in an attempt to meet like this idealized standard of beauty. I skipped meals because I thought like, if only, like, if only I like do this, then I'll have the perfect body and then all of these things will work out in my life. And it's just a way of like, there are a lot of things that you're anxious about in your life that you can't control, but like that is something that you can. So it's easier to focus on that. If I'm having a bad day, like if I'm like, oh my god, I look like I'm like bloating today, or like I like feel really ugly, like my like my face looks weird or whatever, um, I'll definitely make different decisions about my food intake. I dread eating just because like you don't want to deal with like all of the guilt and all of, like the different thoughts that are working in your head, especially when you know that it's like unhealthy. Like I know that um, like if I have days where I'm like I feel like skipping a meal and I force myself to eat anyway because like I know that it's not healthy. Like you're aware that it's not like a rational response. My relationship with food started to become negative because I felt like it meant that I could exert some control over my body, which I hated and felt I had no control over. I didn't have an eating disorder, but I had like really legit disordered eating patterns and like I would not eat for long periods of time and like count calories and everything in like a very bad way. Somehow I convince myself that food and fat were like the same thing. So every food you eat is just a calorie that will turn into fat on your body. My relationship with food has still has like a connotation of comfort, but now there's also kind of like a darker side to it, I guess, because I'm more aware of like what like that relationship has led to in the past and how that has like negatively affected me. I connect the idea of eating food to potentially being overweight again and because I that made me feel so bad when I was growing up or at least because I got bullied for it so much growing up and then created that like like self-image spiral that I really disliked. I like have the fear of like being in that position again and being uncomfortable with my body again or rather I guess more uncomfortable with my body. So I guess as a result, I get the food guilt because I feel like if I go into that like even just once and I know it's not going to be a pattern, I still like subconsciously have a fear that it will be a pattern. I look at it more as like something to understand and grow with instead of just like something that's like a calorie count or something that's like I eat it when I'm sad. So that's been helpful, but it's kind of like this messy, com complicated, like, polar polarity of, like, something comfortable, but also something that, like, made my life hell for a long time. I think having a healthy relationship with food means that you can also, like, means having a healthy relationship with yourself. Everyone can have problems with their relationship with anything, but especially food because it's always there. It is always there, it's always around. And it fucks people up. 